Hi everybody, this is Oleg. Welcome to Oregon Preparedness. I'm home now, I've been home for a few days and um, you know, you know what's going on in Ukraine and you know that war can strike pretty much any minute. And uh, what does it mean for us? For us, it means um, even if it doesn't go nuclear, not yet anyway, in my opinion, that means uh, people will be panic buying. Uh, it's guarantee that will be panic, panic buying, which means shelves will become empty rather quickly. And um, <clears throat> you remember almost two years ago what happened with, a, with toilet paper. And the same thing can happen with, with everything, not just toilet paper, with just general food. So, in my opinion, it is crucial to stock up while you can on just basic supplies, food and water and medicine. Just things that you use every day, things that are long shelf life. Uh, things, you know, rice, pasta, things that last long time. And right now I'm in my garage. This whole entire red shelf is blocked by other boxes, but this whole red shelf that's all kinds of my supplies, preparations, you know, it's uh, it's like six, no, it's about seven feet long, this shelf, four shelves, and all of it is loaded with supplies, but what I'm trying to do here now, my garage is a mess, I just moved, as many of you know this, uh, as, many, as, as many of you know if you follow my channel, and my garage is, is kind of a disaster right now, what I'm trying to do is reorganize it and have my supply, my immediate supply ready in case I ever had to bug out. In case, imagine if if a nuclear bomb goes off, I'm not gonna have time to dig through all this stuff and dig through my boxes and see what I can take with me and what to leave. And so I'm trying to work on my garage. You know, I'm trying to get you know, go through my preps, uh, it's a lot of work here, but it's essential in my opinion. Uh, I need to put, separate things that are long-term long and things that are, that I want to keep here and use here in the case of emergency and things that I would take with me loaded in my car. Let's say there is nuclear bomb goes off, you know, so far I don't think nukes will be flying but you never know and if they do I can't just leave with nothing in my hands especially having enough supply you know and um, I need to put by the exit by my garage door things that I would absolutely would be critical to take with me you know my food my medicine my other su surviving supplies tools because I have all that, uh, but it's all kind of blocked by other boxes. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to put it by the exit of the garage so it's at ready. Anytime, if bombs start to go off, you know, it would take me 10 minutes to throw everything in my car and uh, bug out of here. Another thing, you know, once in a while I remind you guys of it and most of you probably know it anyway but you know what it's always good a good always good to have friendly reminder and good reminder never let your gas tank below half always keep it as full as possible because if the disaster strikes at least you have half a tank on a half a tank of a typical car you'll go at least a couple hundred miles you know also you should keep extra gas in like jerry cans keep at least 10 gallons uh, of just extra spare fuel if you put fuel stabilizer fuel stays a long time i tested my own fuel before i kept it with a stabilizer in it and i bought super gas so it would have higher octane because as far as i know fuel loses its octane as it ages so I bought super fuel, I put, you know, premium super, whatever you want to call it. I put some stabilizer in it and I kept it for over two years. 
I put it in my Prius right away. No problem, it was working just fine, perfect. So even though they guarantee fuel to stay there for one year, I personally tested it for over two and it was working fine. So two years is pretty good, you know, and you can rotate. Nothing happens, even to keep it fresher in a year, put it in your car and get a new one. A little bit of work, but it will, it might save your life. You know, in a bug out situation, let's say you're running out of your house, you only have half a tank. With another 10, 15 gallons, you basically have full tank and you can get 400 miles away. You get 400 miles away from detonation site, you're, you're safe, you know, at least for the time being. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Get, you know, get in gear, do some final preps and get your stuff ready. If you live in an apartment, keep your stuff that you would take with me in a closet by the exit door. If you live in a house, like my situation is, you know, keep it in the garage, but ready to grab. Not like it is right now in my situation, it's buried. It would take two hours to get to it, you know. Of course, in a hurry, I'd be throwing things around, but still, that's, that's far from ideal situation. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't and don't forget to share it if you find it useful or interesting. Take care